Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka HaKadosh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a serious Shalom to the Akin that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. Now, first and foremost, before I continue on, I want to say the water, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving me the fellow Akin, start, uh, start from our apostles on down, for giving us the, um, opportunity to do these videos these lessons the opportunity to go out there on the highways and, and the hedges and on the hedges to edify and warn the nations of israel which are the so-called negroes the latinos and the native americans all right the 12 tribes of israel the ones the law statutes, and commandments as as well as the promises were given to all right the true biblical jews all right shalom now what i just now said there you know about the true biblical jews is Pretty much what I'm going into a little bit. Not not going into the, you know, not going into that su certain subject, but, you know, kind of going off of it. Because this channel, as you see right here on the screen, my first channel, GMS Lions 15, uh, has once again been flagged. And I can't upload for another two weeks on it. And the video that it got flagged for, um, the title mentioned The Rats. You know, and who the true biblical Jews are. Now, um, we now we know that's getting flagged like heavy, right? But this video, that video had to have been about five years old before all this stuff started with the flag and this stuff like that. I mean, they always been doing it, but I'm talking about before it got really, really heavy. You know, and now it's on the verge of being taken down. You know, if I get another strike on it, which I may, which I may create another channel, leave that one alone, and come back to it after a while. When the strike, when the strikes clear up, all right. But um, you know, uh, am I at all upset? I mean, no, of course not. You know, when when we get our channels flagged, you know, it it make you feel some type of way for a while. Excuse me, it make you feel some type of way for a while. You know, but um, overall, man, we we we're not we don't get upset over that stuff, man. We, why? Because we know. That we putting our foot down on this devil neck, man. You know? And 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 it's a good thing, man. You know, when we start seeing that stuff happen, it's a good thing. In fact, and it and it uh exp it, it um inspires us. So like I cannot speak worth a damn today. <laughs> um it inspires us to continue to push harder. You know, push harder. And that's what I got a list, a little list of scriptures going into. I'm just kind of gonna fly through it, you know, in a, in a short amount of time. You know, Lord willing, this, this lesson will be uh, inspiring to the brothers that's out there pushing and sincerity and the few sisters that's out there listening, you know, um, and being humble. All right. Because um, this is the stuff that we prophesied about, man. This is the stuff that we always prophesied about, that they're going to start flagging our, our tent. They're going to start flagging our stuff. They're going to start doing, doing all types of stuff, taking channels down and stuff like that, you know. So, um, you know, again, Lord willing, this, this lesson is going to be um, edifying, uplifting. And again, it's just a short amount of time. All right. I'm going to start off with the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 14. It says, the Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. All right. So, um, you know, that's, that's a short one there. It says, the Lord shall fight for you. It is. He was talking to Moses, but you know, I'm equate. I'm equating this because um, let's go. Let's go up to 13. It says, um, and Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. And that's what we're doing right now, man. You know, when we start having our channels flagged and things like that, you know, Lord Yahweh shot. Your Lord Yahweh by Shemiah shot said what? You know. Uh, uh, if you have faith in the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, he's going, he's going, he's going to fight for you, man. You know, he's going to fight for you. If you, if you're continuing to push and believe in, in Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, he's going to fight for you. Right? Because Moses told the people what? Fear ye, fear ye not. We not scared of this devil, man. We, 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 we want them to continue to take channels down. You want to know why? Because that's closer and closer to famine of the word, man. We are we are already in it. But as it as it continues on, that that proves that we almost out of here, man. This is the stuff that the Lord said is going to happen on, on um um when He's going to start His return. 
You know, he's getting ready to plunge this place into complete hell. He's getting ready. He's he's already doing it. He's doing things now. This is the start of his return, man. This is the start of us going back home, getting our power back, man. You know. He said, fear ye not and see the salvation of the Lord, man. Right. Which he will shoot. Continue on. It says, which he will shoot to you today, man. You see that? For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. And when you look at the, the Egyptians, you know, in, 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 in modern day, you can equate that to all the, to all these heathens, man. Mainly Esau. You know, Esau is the main, main, main devil, man. You know? And this video might get flagged for that. That's why I'm getting ready to make another channel, man. You know? But um, you know, it's uh it says you ain't gonna see the, you're not gonna see the Egyptians no more. You gotta remember, man, this is this is reincarnation. The same thing happened be before. You know, they started they started get you know, I, I you know, it wasn't it wasn't like um you know, like YouTube today, but you know it was something similar before, you know, how they how they would stop the word from coming in. You know, you got to think about it. This is all happening. It's happening all over again, man. You know, this is, you got to remember, this is Egypt. This is Rome. This is all the mother. This is all the, the wicked empires mixed up in one. And you know, it's going to happen much, much harder. You know, but the Lord said what? It says, ye shall see them no more. It's like, ye shall see them again no more forever, man. Right. Well, I'm going down to verse 14. It says, the Lord shall, the Lord, Yahweh shall fight for you. And ye shall hold your peace, which means what? In the time of your trouble, you pray unto the Lord, Yahweh by Shmiel Shai. You relax, you sit back, and you really you, you and you watch the miracles work, man. You know. This is this is a very inspiring uh scripture right here, man. Because this this is this is these scriptures like these, all these scriptures inspire me to push harder, but you know, it's it's certain scriptures that really there's, you got to remember, there's scriptures for everything, man. There's scriptures on down to how to treat your pet. You got to remember that. That's kind of crazy, you know? Um, uh, this is the book of Joshua. Joshua is a, is a really good one on faith, man. That's a really good faith-boosting uh, 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 book. You know, when you read the Joshua and the armies and stuff like that, they didn't, they didn't have a lot of people at all, but they had faith. That's the thing. When you have a higher power on your side, man, nothing can touch you, you know? So... What, what, what this devil do and don't realize that, you know, we have a higher power on our side, right? And they can't touch, they cannot touch us, man. You know, they cannot touch us. You can flag the videos. You can do whatever. This is their plat. This is their platform. This is what, this is set up by them through, of course, through the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Shah to, to push the word out. You know, we got to remember the Lord still gave them power over this stuff, man. You know, so they could go ahead and flag it, flag, flag it, take it all down, man. Just get the shit rolling. You know, this is uh, Joshua, um, chapter one, verse nine. It says, "Have I not, com uh, have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dis, be thou dismayed, for the Lord Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, thy power is with thee, whithersoever thou goest." Right. And this goes towards today, man. You know, it said, "Be strong and of good and of good courage, man." You know, when you get your your channels flagged, man, that's we wait on it, man. You know, we wait on it. We wait on a flag to come. <laughs> we know what's going to happen. You know, that's why. Because you have to be you have to be strong and of good courage, man. Be not afraid, man. You know. Neither be thou this this me, man, because we know that that this devil get ready to start really really rolling on us, man, and this goes towards that that time too, man. You know when they start rolling on us, the Lord said what, and this is easy for us to say, but the Lord said what? Don't be afraid, you know I got you. I mean it's further proof is what what I'm talking about now. They keep taking down channels, they keep doing this, they keep doing that, and the word is out there, man. Went to the store to, uh, 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 like I think last month, maybe two months ago, and and a, and a woman behind the the counter, um, because I had to show them my ID for 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 something. I I can't remember what it was. I think it was the, uh, uh, I can't remember what it, what it was for. And she said, "Well, next it's about to be the RFID chip." And he was like, "The truth is out there, man." 
So Esau, man, you can keep flagging, you can keep flagging videos, you keep take taking down channels, you keep doing whatever, man. You know, because that's not stopping anything. It's not stopping anything. You know, there's nothing you can do about it. Because the Lord is with is with the elect, man, and you cannot touch the elect. Right? You cannot touch the elect. We gotta remember, man. That's why I said yesterday on the video, pff, we'll give Esau credit for a damn thing, man. At least I don't, me personally, I don't give Esau credit for a goddamn thing, man. The Lord is the one that set Esau up in power, man. Job 9 and 24 said what? The earth is given. It ain't like Esau woke up one morning and said, well, okay, well, I'm going to go take over the world, world dominant to whatever. He didn't, he, no, the Lord said, I'm going to give it to him. Why? Because we're being punished. So it's the same thing with this, man. You can't stop the word of the Lord, Esau. <laughs> ain't nothing you're going to be able to do about it. <laughs> you know, your little flags, you know, bullying and, you know, uh, what what else they say? Cyber bullying and things like that, man. Look, this shit about to be shut down any damn way. Right? Let's go on to the next book. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. It says, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Save the Lord, Yahweh by Shemi Shai. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. You see that? The Lord, the Lord knows what we what we what we you know? The Lord knows. You know? He said what? For I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Save the Lord. You gotta remember the Lord is the one that created us. Right? Yahweh by Shemi Shai created us. This is it uh Thoughts of peace and not evil. See what we doing right now. You know what we do when we do these videos. Even though it seems like, even though well, even though we are, you know, always get seems like he's, you know we always getting on people with things like that. You know, it's in the name of peace. And I know I sound like one of them, one of them damn Christians or whatever. But hey, we are, we are, a, we are the true Christians, right? And um, we do it in the name of peace, man, because we want peace. You know. Sitting up there, letting your woman speak, that's not peaceful. I'm talking about letting your woman speak in a, in a church, in a, in, a, you know, in a congregation full of men. That's not peaceful. You know, you got Yohanna over here talking about, you know, take, go ahead and, uh, you know, jab up. You know, that's not peaceful. That's all confusion. That's confusion. You know? It says, uh... And not of evil to give you an expected end, right? Verse 12, it says, Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. You know, like I said, man, I keep I, I keep repeating the message at this point, man. I ain't I really say it no more. Well, let me see, let me, let me read out 13 since I just saw it. It said, And ye shall seek me and find me. Right. When ye shall search for me with all your heart or your spirit, because your heart can't think for you, it's your spirit. Right. So, you know, uh, uh, um, I don't really have to say anything else after that, man. You know, I'm going to, you know, pull out a couple more scriptures, you know. As long as you believe in, in the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiel Shah, man, ain't nothing going, ain't nothing going to phase you, man, you know. And this devil, um, you know, he's all he's always out, man. He's always out looking, you know, this this to devour whom he may devour, man. All right? But if you don't have the Lord Yahweh by Shmiel Shah on your side, Israel, then something, you know, you you in you in trouble. Right? It's the book of Psalm, chapter twenty seven, verse four. It says, One thing have I desired of the Lord Yahweh by Shmiel Shah, that will I seek after. That I may, this is this is what he's seeking after, this is, and this is what we all seeking after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiel Washai, right? All the days of my life, right? To behold the beauty of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiel Washai, right? And to inquire in his temple. That's right, man. That's that's what that's what we that's what we search, that's what we pray for, man, to continue to dwell. In the house of the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Shai. All the days of our lives, man. You know. 
all the days of our lives and to not bug the hell out. Not to let little f flagging videos and take, take down channels and all that. Not to let that get to us, man, because we understand that that's what's supposed to happen. In order for this place to go down, man, that's exactly what has to happen. That videos have to get flagged. Channels have to be taken down. This is the stuff that must happen, man. In order, in order for us to get out of here, man. We look forward to it, man. We always said, man, may, may the Lord bring famine of the word really, really fast, man. And may he protect us from it. Verse, verse 5. It says, For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his uh, pavilion, right? And the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me, right? He shall set me up upon a rock. And that's what we're praying for, man. You know, that's exactly what we're praying for. And that's what the Lord promised to do to you if you're seeking the Lord, man. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Second Peter chapter nine. It's like in second Peter chapter three, verse nine, man. You know, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Last scripture. All right. And again, man, Lord willingness was uh, uplifting, you know, to the brothers out there that's pushing and sincerity and the truth. And uh, to the sisters out there, you know, uh, li um, listening, sisters out there listening, you know, being obedient, you know. Because this is definitely uh, inspiring for me. The book of Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter forty, verse thirty-one. It says, "But they, sh so like, but they that wait upon the Lord Yahweh by Shemiel Shai shall renew their strength, right? For they shall, so like, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they." shall walk and not faint i don't have to break that down man right i do not have to break that down <sighs> that's self-explanatory i'm gonna read it one more time just for the hell of it though but they that wait upon the lord yahweh shall renew their strength they uh they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. Now, I did say that was the last scripture, but let's look at a couple of scriptures. You know, just because we like making this double mad, man. You know, just because we like making this double mad. I'm gonna get to the main point. I usually start at 17. Yeah, let me get start at 17, man. It says, uh, this is the book of Obadiah, verse 17. It says, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. That's right, man. We're gonna have our gold, we're gonna have our power. But what's gonna happen to Esau, man? And all and as, as well as these as well as these other heathen nations, but definitely Esau, man. What's gonna happen to them? Verse 18. It says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for a stubble. You see that, man? That's what's gonna happen. To, to this devil, man. Right? You can keep trying. You can keep pushing. You talk about you, Esau, man. You can keep you can keep pushing. You can keep pushing. You can keep trying, man. Esau, man, you are fighting a losing battle. You are fighting a losing battle. You can't do shit against the chariots, man. You cannot do shit against you can't even you hardly could do shit against us, man. You could grab us up, you could throw us in jail and things like that. I'm talking about he's elect, man. He's overly late. You can you grab you grab the elect up, throw him in jail, we'll do whatever, man. Because that's what happened before. But the Lord said, What? You're not you you still not gonna be touched, man. You still not gonna be touched. If you were to hopefully late, man, you're still not gonna be touched. Right? It said the house of Esau is gonna be for a stubble. Right? It said, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shah have spoken it. These ain't our words, man. These this is you just you just heard it for from the scriptures, man. The Lord for the, for the Lord Yahweh by Shemiel Shai have spoken it, not us, right? Not us. The Lord the Lord set all this up, man. Right. The book of Joel talk about your captivity. You know we're gonna sell your sons and your daughters, but it's just like you did us. You know, you just wait, man. Just wait, patience. 
patience. Patience means <laughs> suffering, man. You know, we just having patience. You know how you get, you know, you got you got something new that you want coming out. You man, like, man, it's like a week away, and it's like the closer it get, the more the more and more suffering you 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 go through. Like, man, man, I can't wait to that. You know, now that's the same thing with this. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying and, and um, uplifting, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka HaKwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a Seer Shalom to the Akim that's out there pushing in sincerity and in truth. And Shalom to the sisters, the few sisters that that, that is learning in meekness and humbleness. Shalom. And my waffle up a ball to this wicked ass place, man. And if you don't know, man, that's death to Babylon. Shalom.